It's Andy's Brain. Hey everyone, Andy Arthur Smith here. This is going to be a new series in which I just talk about whatever interests me or whatever is currently stressing me out. And unless I hate how this first episode turns out, in which case I'll never do it again. And joining me, as always, is my brain. Hi, thanks for having oh, me. I don't have a choice. So I'm just going to be bouncing some ideas off my brain. We're going to discuss stuff, and we'll see how the content turns out. So this is what it's come to. What do you mean? What are you, a content creator now? I don't know. I guess I technically have been for a couple of years, like with TikTok and Instagram. But what makes you think that you're even legitimate? Like, you're not making any money off of it. You're not posting as often as you used to. And honestly, your videos aren't Whoa, that hey, good. Oh, hey, okay. I'm, try I'm trying to change all of that, okay? That's what this is. This was your idea. Why are you being such a dick? It's what I do, baby. All right, well, that's your first impression that you want to make to the audience. Hey, man, they're going to get to know the real me, okay? I'm just being whatever I am moment to moment. All right, I guess I'm an asshole, guys. No, 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 you're all right. I'm all right. They're going to know that I was just joking around. I I'm nice, guys. I'm actually nice. So so, so like me, please. Like us. Like this hey, video. Dude, you just need to chill and pull yourself together, okay? Pull myself together. Oh, please, you would be nothing without me. You know what? Allow me to get this party started. What makes you even think that anyone's going to want to watch this video? I don't know. Maybe because I have 1.7 million followers on TikTok. Ooh, what an amazing accomplishment. You sounded so dumb and cocky just now when you said that. Shit, did I seriously? Because I was trying to be like kind of funny, like... Like admirable confidence because I'm standing up to you because you're bullying me. No, nope, you sounded arrogant. Now don't avoid the question, why would anyone want to watch this video? I don't know. Maybe because it's like an interesting kind of idea. Like what if your brain was a person that you could talk you to? You think nobody's ever done anything like this before? This is the basis of so many relatable meta types of skits, all right? You're not being original in the slightest. Okay, well mine won't be a skit, all right? It's going to be more like an episodic, conversational type of introspective look into my own thought Ooh, patterns introspective and look into my fucking I'm so cool and smart. What, what, are you trying to be like Bo Burnham or no, something? No, I'm me. I'm doing my own thing. Stuff like this already exists. What makes you special? I don't know. I sing, okay? I sing goofy covers of children's songs on TikTok and then I throw in some cuss words in there and suddenly people decided that was cool and I got a following. And that makes you important? Because well, nobody else can do that. You're so clever and unique. Look, I don't know, alright? I'm not, okay? I'm not special at all. I'm not. There, happy? No. That makes me feel like shit, actually, because that means that I'm not special. Well, you did this to yourself. No, fuck this. No, we're doing this, and we're going to make it good, and people are going to love it. They're oh going to- Oh my god, dude, you're so annoying. Make up your mind. I'm annoying? I am annoying? You're the one who never listens to anything that I say. I'm doing this video right now, aren't I? Yeah, but what about that one time a couple weeks ago when I told you to put on sunscreen before that hike, I reminded you several times throughout the day, and you just didn't care. And then even as you were leaving the door, I reminded you again, and you just said, oh, I'll be fine, and were you? Well, I think the burn actually ended up jump-starting my tan, so... Shut up, you're not tan! You know what? You never do anything I say either. I'm here to help you, dude. I'm in charge. Hmm, interesting. So tell me, how is it helpful then to convince me whenever I'm home alone that there's some psychopath hiding in the apartment waiting to pop out and murder me? Why Why would you do that? You know what? You're going to thank me on the one random day in your life when that's true because you never know. Dude, nobody's ever hiding. It doesn't make any sense. I would know if someone was in my own apartment. Would you? Because we're, we're alone in the apartment right now and somebody could be hiding in here and you would have no idea. Dude, don't do this right now. I'm just thinking logically because, like, somebody could have snuck in earlier while you were showering. Stop. Because you left the door unlocked and they could be hiding in several places. You haven't opened any closet in hours. That's never gonna happen. Oh, please, you know you don't know that for sure. Why would somebody be hiding for hours waiting to kill me? You never know. Some serial killer psychopath who's just in the mood to kill today and he chooses your apartment at random to sneak into. It could happen. Anything yeah, can happen. I just wanted to record this video, okay? I don't want to waste time searching every room in the apartment for an imaginary serial killer today. Go get the big Michael Myers kitchen knife for defense. And let's do what we have to do. I gotta go, guys. I, I guess that's the first episode of Andy's stupid fucking brain. Hey! Sorry, I love you. <laughs> <laughs>